Yo, what is going on, you beautiful human beings? Zach or Val here, and welcome to Valcast. All right, uh, do you think the Leafs have a chance this year? Um, it all depends on what happens at the trade deadline. If they pick up a defense, like another first, second defense to go around with um, Riley, because I'm not a fan of Ron Hainsey. He's a great penalty kill and all that. And maybe they could pick up another center. Then I think that they might have a chance, maybe first, second round, but not for the cup, though. Oh, you don't think so? No? Really? No. Ever? Do you think Maybe they will? Years. Oh, there you go. Yeah, okay. Did you, uh, I seen your post on, uh, Matthews. What do you think about that? Uh, Matthews is a good player. But, um, I hope that they don't trade him. But, uh, a lot of people saying that he's there to trade him because they have, they don't have cap, cap room. But I think they do because if they don't, if they trade JVR and Bozak at the trade deadline, you're saving, like, nine ten million dollars because uh, you know JVR is going to want six seven million a year and uh, Bozak's going to want about five six million a year and that's like 13 million you can give that right to Matthews because you know he's going to want more than what McDavid makes yeah true yeah makes sense yeah yeah and I think Matthews is better than McDavid yeah I, I think so I still think he has too much hype on him McDavid yeah Jeez, I don't know. Honestly, I do think they have a chance for winning it. I yeah, they definitely do. This year, uh, I don't know how they doing this year. I think they're doing pretty good. Yeah. Um. Last I heard, they had maybe twenty two, twenty three wins. Yeah. That's, but I could be yeah. wrong. Well, I mean, it changes a lot. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, I I'd say they, they have won a tonight. Chance. So. Yeah, true. What was the score? I know Ottawa. They went four three. Oh, there you go. That's good. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So I guess we both agree. I guess they have a chance. Just maybe not just yet. Okay, I like that. Uh, best of all time, in your opinion, who's the best all time player in the NHL? Well, most of everybody's gonna say Wayne Wayne Gretzky because he had uh, twenty eight hundred something points, but me personally, if Mario Lemieux never had his heart problems, I think he could have been the best. So my answer would have to be uh, Mario Lemieux. He had 915 games played, and Gretzky had 1,487. Gretzky finished with 2,857 points, and Lemieux finished with 1,723. And so Gretzky has like 400 and something game, more games than Lemieux. So I think Lemieux, in my opinion, would be the best of all time. Damn. Oh, yeah, see, that was well put again. Yeah, for sure. Damn. I didn't actually know he was that high, though, compared to Gretzky. Yeah. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah. What happened with his heart, though? I don't know. Like, uh, I, w I heard from people that he had a heart problem because he retired. And then he came back, and then when, when Sidney Crosby first got drafted... I know Crosby was playing with Lemieux. Oh, I didn't know that. Damn. Yeah, and then he retired. Damn, I didn't actually know they freaking played together, though. Oh, shit. Who is your favorite player of all time? Uh, I don't even know. Uh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. But favorite player, uh, I don't know. That's tough. Best of all time, though, I was going to say Gretzky, but at the same time, I was going to say what you were going to say about... Uh, I don't know. That's like everyone's answer, pretty much. Cause like he started it, I guess. Like he's like the face of hockey. Yeah. yeah. Shit, I don't know though. Best There's of all time. There's too many good players. Yeah, for sure. A lot of them. You could say 
you could say Gordie Howe. He played a long time. He even he was even playing in the NHL when his son was playing. Yeah, true. Oh, even Yager. I forgot about him. Yeah, he's geez, yeah. Dude's still Yager. going. Yeah, that's yeah. I say Yager. He's still going. So, damn. He's getting up there. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Uh. Uh. What about Seattle in the NHL? What do you think about that? I say absolutely not. Hockey is uh, Canada sport, so I think if they're gonna put another team in America, they have to. They should put one in Canada, like maybe make another Quebec team. Oh, um, right, yeah. Or you put some something out somewhere else. But I think before you put one in Seattle, you. I hope they look into Canada first. Yeah, that's true. I think it was something with Quebec. I thought they were gonna do that. Yeah, I heard that a couple years ago, and then I even heard that they might even add another team in Toronto because Toronto's so big and the market is so high. You had another Toronto team, but I Ooh. wouldn't like that. But that'd be kind of weird, in my opinion. Yeah. But again, with the Seattle, like they barely just uh, brought in Vegas, so just adding another team, like then we're gonna see one like couple years after, and it's not really worth yeah. it. Yeah. Exactly. Wow, okay. Unless they start taking teams out, which I'm not really, that's not good. Yeah, or like transfer like Arizona because the last three, four years it's always Arizona because they, they were Phoenix and they, they changed their name to Arizona and they always have a problem selling out their tickets. So then if you're going to put a team in Seattle, just transfer Arizona to Seattle. Yeah, for sure. Because, again, they did that with Atlanta because they weren't, like, selling enough, so they went straight to Winnipeg. Yep. So, yeah, I see there for sure. Not bad. Okay. So we pretty much disagree on that one. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but overrated and underrated, I'm going to give you a name, and just, in your opinion, do you think they're overrated or underrated? Just okay. completely your opinion. So we're going to start off easy. Connor McDavid, what do you think? And why is that, though? Because everybody thinks he's so good. Yes, he puts up points, but I don't think he's, like, top of the level yet. He's still young and everything. Just like when Crosby came out, everybody said, oh, yeah, he's such a crybaby. He whines all the time. He's an underrated player, uh, overrated player, this and that. But I think that McDavid is overrated. Yeah. I was annoyed by McDavid, seeing all those advertisements and stuff, like, yeah. oh my god, like, just calm down, okay. Uh, let's go, uh, let's go Patrick Laine, what do you think? Um, I think he's, um, underrated. Okay. Any idea? What do you think? Yeah? Yeah, he was second overall pick, and everybody just talks about Matthews is better, uh, but... Matthews is a great player, and he is better than Line, but I, I just think that everybody thinks Line is underrated. Okay. So if you were to compare Matthews and Line, though, which one's better, worse, whatever? Um, I would, I'm a Leaf fan, so I would say Matthews, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure a lot of people would disagree with me, but uh, Matthews is better, in my opinion. He's better with the puck. I don't know. I could be wrong. I mean, we all have our opinions. It makes sense, for sure. Okay. Like it. Okay, uh... I'm trying to think of one that could be really hard. I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go Mitchell Marner. Yeah. Underrated, overrated. What's up? Um, he... He is, um... Obviously, un underrated. Underrated, okay. Yeah, I don't think you need an opinion or explanation because that makes sense big yeah. time okay all right perfect i don't know what do you want to talk about what's what's up what's going on mm, yeah what do you think about that uh andrew cogliano suspension oh i again do not like it like you said it was a clean hit definitely and again 800 consecutive games without missing that's what like since 2007, 2008 probably, something like that. Yeah, maybe a little bit before that, yeah. Yeah, that's insane. I don't, I, I hate that. Cogliano, again, underrated. I like him, definitely. What do you think? Yeah, he's a, 
means he's a fast skater. He doesn't get injured, obviously. He had 800 games or maybe a little bit more. But yeah, it, it was it wasn't a it wasn't a dirty hit. Like he's not known for that. Obviously, if he has 800 games without getting injured, sick, anything, the ref made obviously a, a bad call. Not the ref, the player safety, whoever makes the suspensions. And I think that he should get fired, and they should bring somebody else in because that was stupid. There was a lot of other bad hits. Yeah. And stuff. If that was Ovechkin or anybody else top of the line that did that hit, they would have got nothing. It's always favoritism. Oh, dude, you actually just read my mind. I had favoritism, like, right in there waiting for you to finish talking, and I was going to mention Crosby because he did the same exact hit a while back, and he didn't yeah, get shit. Yeah, he slashed the guy's finger. Yeah. Damn, you just, like, that straight up bad. read my mind, though. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> I was mentioning favoritism and shit. Oh. Uh. So obviously, yeah, there's a lot of that in the NHL right now. Oh, for sure. Like you mentioned um, when I was at your house, what's it called? Uh, Corey Crawford, Vertigo. What do you think? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, at first I had um, no idea what Vertigo was, but I heard that it's like he sees everything around him is moving, and that is obviously not good. So he's a good goalie. He's uh, obviously Canadian. Oh, so. I didn't know that. It would it would be a loss like if they were going to the Olympics. Um, yeah. But I just hope that he recovers and the doctors help him because obviously he's the best goalie that uh, Chicago has. And if he is out for the rest of the year, that is a big loss to Chicago's chances. Yeah, for sure. Damn. Because yeah, especially being a goalie and knowing you have vertigo, that's really oh, tough. Yeah. Oh god. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, I just thought of something. Okay, a uh, future Hall of Famer. If Okay, in the NHL right now, or just anybody, who deserves that spot? Like, 100%. Are you talking about, like, older older guys come, like going to retire soon, or are you talking about younger guys? Uh, I guess let's do both. Uh, so someone you think should be in the Hall of Fame, and someone playing now, you know, who deserves it, or you think will, I guess. That makes sense. Yeah, go with um, the, Yeah, okay. <laughs> Patrick, Patrick Marlowe. I think that um, he will um, be in the Hall of Fame. He has 500 goals, and um, he has over 100 game-winning goals. He's never won a Stanley Cup, though, but that doesn't mean anything. He's played his whole career in San Jose, and then he came to Toronto. So I think he has a chance. Yeah, Okay. I don't think the cup really matters though, because again, Ovi's never won it, so and he's definitely going in the Hall of Fame. There's no doubt. Oh, for sure. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. How about now? One of the like young guns, young stars. Who do you think? Like, who do you want in the Hall of Fame someday? If you if they keep it up. Um, I would have to say Mitch Marner, because I I like the guy. Like the guy is great, great <laughs> hands and everything, but. Uh, I don't. I doubt he'll be in the Hall of Fame, but uh, Kucherov, he okay. would be a good Hall of Famer. Yeah, for sure. How long has he been yeah. here for? I don't. I don't know. Shit. I don't know how long he's been playing for. I don't know. There's a lot of young kids out there that that are gonna have promising careers coming up and gonna have a lot of points and everything, as long as they stay healthy. So what's with you and Hockey Ultimate Team, dude? Why, you're still not playing it? But, yeah. I used to enjoy it back in the day, but not no more. Yeah, for sure. Dude pulled a freaking 95 overall Carlson the other day, so, jeez. Oh my. I know, dude's nuts. Uh, shit. I don't know, what do you think about that, though? I think they were talking a while back about Carlson and Dowdy and stuff. Yeah, because, um... Carlson's contract's coming up, and he, he wants Carlson wants to be the highest paid player in the NHL, and I don't think Ottawa can afford that. So they were always talking about, yeah, will Carlson come to the Leafs? Um, this and that, and just like uh, Jonathan Tavares, he's um, a free agent, and he says he wants to stay in Long Island, but um, there's no contract going, uh, extension going on, no talks or anything, just like uh, Doughty. He said that he'll like to stay in L.A., but everybody's saying that he's coming to the Leafs, just like Stamkos. They said, yeah, Stamkos is going to come come to the Leafs, and then he signed, uh, I think, a seven- or eight-year contract in Tampa. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
It's yeah. just the media trying to, um, you know, like, start things. Make themselves relevant, yeah. Yeah. For sure. I know this has nothing to do with hockey, but I've seen your post, though, on Granderson going to the Jays. That's pretty sweet. Yes. Damn. I don't know, I always like that. That was exciting. That was cool. Yeah. Didn't see that coming, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, if you were to make a team in the NHL, who would your captain be? Out of anybody. Oh, wow. Um, I would have to say Austin Matthews. Like, out of everybody? Like, you'd pick Matthews? Yeah, because he's young. Yeah, okay. But I, I know a lot of people, like, uh, will pick other people, but I would pick Matthews. Uh, I would go younger before I go older. Yeah, more time to play. Uh, damn. I don't know. I'm probably with you on that. Maybe Matthews or, like, a line A. Just someone young, upcoming, for sure. Up and, yeah, up and coming. Kucherov. Yeah, that's, that's a good choice. I don't know. I Again, I wouldn't want to go with the people like Crosby or Ovi, just the normal choices that people would pick. So, uh-huh. uh, I don't know. Yeah, I got you there on Matthews, though. That's good. Smart choice. Yeah. <laughs> Question for you, Pearl, Val. What's up? If you if you're making your own team, who would your um, who would your top center be with the in your uh, first defense and your goalie? So center defense and goalie? Are you talking about like yeah. left wings too, or just like just center no, defense goalie? Just center one defense and uh, goalie. Okay. Uh, at first, I thought you were going to ask for coach, and I was going to be like John Tortorella, for sure. So. Yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Okay, so is this like now or all time? Like who? Like right now? Now, yeah, now. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, that's tough. Okay. Mm. Uh, goalie, I'd probably go Braden Holpe. He's doing hell. He's doing really good. I'd probably go Hopi. Okay, Hopi is goalie. Top defense. Ah, uh, mm, Okay, now it's back to like the Eric Carlson, like Drew Doughty. Oh, I'd probably go Doughty. Drew Doughty, for sure. Ah, uh, okay. Center. Okay, that's tough. There's a lot of them out there. Oh, damn. Shit. Ah, uh, probably Stamkos. I'd probably go Stamkos on that one. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Okay, what about you though? Center, defense, goalie. So the goalie I would pick would probably be between Carey Price and Anderson. Frederick. Frederick, okay. Yeah, my defense would have to be Morgan Riley. Because I like the kid, he's good. And my center uh, would probably have to be Austin Matthews again as he is younger and he's gonna improve over time. Yeah. That's underrated right there. That's great. Because I could, I could say Patrice Bergeron, yeah, he might, he, he's going to win 60-70% of the face-offs at night, but, uh, and he's, he's up in age, so he's not going to have as much playing time as Austin Matthews will be. Yeah, for sure. And again, face-offs, if you ever played Bergeron on freaking NHL 18, the dude's unstoppable. Can't beat him. Yeah. My God. Yeah, that's perfect. Damn. Yeah. So, okay, uh, you said Frederick Anderson and Carey Price, though. If you were to pick yeah. one, I know it might be hard, but if you were to pick one, who would it be? Carey Price. Over Anderson? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, just simple. Just yes. Just, okay. Yeah, that's, damn, that's a good pick, though. Hey, dirtiest player in the game right now. Oh. Oh, wow. That might be kind of obvious. There's like a couple of choices in there. <laughs> Dirtiest player? Yeah, like right now. <laughs> I have no idea. You caught me on a thing there. Do you have one? Like that you, like that pops out? Not at the moment. <laughs> 
Uh, you don't think of like Lucy? Uh, I can't even talk. Lucic, <laughs> Marshawn. Did you call Lucic? Yeah, dude. You don't think of that? Yeah, here you go. Yeah. Lucic, Marshawn. That's all Forgot I think about. about. That guy. I hate Marshawn. <laughs> now, if you would have said like, uh, who's a player you dislike? Oh, there's tons. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. Go there. Who do you dislike? I would have to say uh, Brad Marshawn. I can't stand him. He's just not that person you like, I guess. I don't know. No. Even the fact that he's on Boston, I already hate them enough, so. <laughs> oh, you got it. I don't know. Do you remember uh, Toronto? They were doing good in the playoffs or whatever, and then they, like, five goals in a row or something like that against Boston. I think yep. it was, I think it was something like they're, that. Yeah, they were up 4-1 with, I think, like, nine minutes left in game seven. And that, uh, they okay. just had the game up, went to overtime, and they, they won it 5-4. Yeah, good times. I still remember that. I was broken. Like, that feels yeah. shit. Because I, I don't know how you uh, destroy a lead like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Damn. Okay, we're Leafs uh, fans here. Uh, if you could bring back one Maple Leaf, like, of all time, who would it be to play, like, right now? Oh, if I had to bring back one Maple Leaf? Yeah, one of them. Um, probably Daryl Sittler. So why Sittler, though? He was good. Like, he's way, way before my time. If you're, if you're asking, like, before my time, I would have to say Sittler. If you're asking, like, in my era, uh, I would have to probably say uh, Wendell Clark. Oh, I thought, I thought you were going to say Sundin. I didn't read your mind there. Yeah, that's a I good was tip, going though. to, that's but good. then I'm like, okay, I like Clark. He, he'll he drop the gloves when he can, like, when he will. He, he can score, can set people up. And that's like a Ty Domi. Like, you can bring back Ty Domi. He, he'll get in the rough areas. He'll fight whoever it is. doesn't matter if you're big, small. Yeah. I guess Who would you uh, bring back? Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know. I'm not as diehard fan of hockey like you are. There's no doubt. Not even close. You can't, like, you can't. You just can't do it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, like, Domi or Tucker. One of them. Oh, has to yeah, be. Tucker. Obvious. So, yeah. Yeah, it has to yeah. be one of them. I don't know. And, uh, as you were mentioning with dropping the gloves, I guess, uh, I don't know if he still plays, but Aginla kind of turned into that, like, enforcer type now. No, he's not playing this year. Oh, okay, then last year or whatever, because he, like, he was a good scorer and stuff, but ever since he, like, oh, turned yeah. to, like, Colorado or whatever, it's like he's more enforcer. Yeah, because I know they were, I heard um, Tim and Sid talking about um, Aginla might be on Team Canada in February. Like this year? Yeah, because uh, the NHL... He's not going to the Olympics because it's in South Korea. And so all the people that played in the NHL that aren't in the NHL right now can play in the Olympics. So, like, a Ginla can go and yeah. other people. Wasn't there a... I don't know. Isn't there something wrong with hockey and, like, no, well, NHL and the Olympics or something not competing? Like, they just don't let them? Or am I thinking of another sport? So I, I think, think so, but I'm not 100% sure. Right. I don't know. That's really stupid, though. Uh, damn. I mean, this podcast is going fine. Nothing wrong with this. Just chilling. Who, who is your favorite fighter of all time? Like in the NHL? Yeah. Oh, probably Domi. It has to be. Domi for sure. <laughs> He fought a fan once, so yeah, him for sure. Yes. <laughs> I, I still remember that. What I don't know. What about you though? Colton Orr. Oh, there you go. Where is he playing now? Yeah, he retired. Oh damn. Yes. There was a nice shout out to Lucas for not being here. Yeah, Lucas, for you, bud. There you go. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't thinking about that. That's good. I'll never forget that fight that he was fighting John Scott, and he knocked him down. Oh, yeah, he's a big dude, too. Yeah, John Scott is. 
Damn. And I'm very surprised when Buffalo and um, when he when Scott was playing for Buffalo because I've never ever heard of uh, John Scott fighting Chara. And there, Scott might be a couple of inches shorter, but I would have loved to see them two fight. Oh, they never did. You're just saying like you wish. Yeah, not that I know of. Like I've never seen anything on YouTube about it because you always see Chara trying to go after the smaller guys. Yeah, for sure. Like when he ragdoll um, Brian McCabe that one year. Yeah, I still remember that ragdoll picture on the computer or something. Yeah. Like I don't know, but it just stuck with me, I guess. Damn. That's tough. Oh, yeah. Uh, damn. So you doing anything tomorrow? No, not that I know. I'll play some games. Maybe go grocery shopping with Jen. That's about it. Nice. I don't know when we finish this up or something. Do you want to play PS4 or some shit? Yeah, uh, they're just watching TV. When when they go to bed, I'll play a game if you're on. Oh, uh, no worries. Not at all. Yeah, we've been talking to shit, Tug. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you having me on your channel, man. It's always a pleasure. Yeah, no worries. I mean, the last yeah, video would actually did really good with you. Got, it got at least 100 views, though, so that was good. I, I don't know if it was last week, me and Kenny were playing and we were in a party chat and he posted a video or something saying something about, oh yeah, this is uh, Pearl Valier. And uh, he, he was like, and then he was telling people to subscribe to you because you're, you're absolutely amazing. Oh, damn. On what though? Uh, one of his football videos. I don't know if he uh, posted it because we were all talking and uh, he had this amazing play. And when you're in party chat on PS4, it, it just automatically saves right. your voice. So he was trying to get people to uh, sub to you because he, every time you post a video, he always watches it. Oh. And he likes, he likes your intro. Well, shout out to him for sure. <laughs> I don't know because like, I was thinking today that I was just going to take my channel down and just delete all the videos and just come back some no. other time. I don't, it's just a part of me though, it's like, I don't like it, it's like cringy, it feels like, uh but No, I, every time, every time I get a notification on my phone saying, yeah, Puravel updated this on Call of Duty, I'm like, I have to watch it. So I'll, I'll literally stop whatever I'm doing just to watch it, because your videos are good. Uh, I don't know, jeez, they could be better, I guess. Yeah, you're, you're not, you're not at the top of the list of everybody else that has hundreds and millions of views, but you are, you are there, you are good. Oh, I appreciate it, for sure. It's just going to take you time to build up your channel, but if you give up, then all that hard work you put in goes to nothing. Yeah, I guess. So I never thought I would hit like 7 fucking K views on a video before, and I did, so... Hey, there you go. Jeez. So obviously people, people like you because when I said um, that you video about you quitting I'm like no he's not quitting uh I don't know and then you came back I'm like thank you uh I don't know I just don't like myself I guess it's like I just I don't like it I don't know but I should keep it just to look back on it I guess for sure your videos are good so yeah. you just gotta keep telling yourself that your videos are good and not everyone's gonna like you so yeah you might get that one idiot that's gonna uh, that you have a hundred likes and you're gonna, the, there's gonna be one idiot that goes and hits the dislike button just to be cool. I don't mind getting dislikes. It's just there is one. There has to be one person that you know the same person that always dislikes it every time. It's weird. <laughs> like why are you coming to my channel for if that's all you're gonna do? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I like this. Some of the questions you stumped me, so I'm like coming to a quick answer. I don't, I don't know how I stumped you with like Marshawn and Lucic and stuff like that. Like, wouldn't that be the I most just, obvious one? I, I just had a brain fart. I couldn't think of anybody. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, not a big deal. Besides the Leafs, who is your favorite team in the NHL, like of all time? It could be like any era. Just you know, up to you. Ottawa, is there a certain year that you like them more? You know, like the players? Um, I don't remember the year, but every time Toronto wouldn't make the playoffs,
playoffs, and there was uh, the line of Lee, Alfredson, and Spencer. Oh, yes, I yes. just absolutely loved them. They were absolutely, absolutely just amazing. That was like the best line for so many years. Yeah, I feel you. I think that's my most like memorable line ever. Alfredson, Heatley, Spezza, perfect. My God. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you on that one. Yeah, that, that was a good question. Yeah, I mean, gets you thinking, I guess. I don't know. Damn. That w. one's back a lot. Oh, that's tough. I was going to say the Leafs, but I said we can't do that. I don't want to take Ottawa. That's a good one. But, ah, uh, okay. Shoot. Okay, maybe the Oilers, maybe? Horkoff, Torres, and yeah. freaking Hemsky at the time. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I like the Oilers. Yeah. I don't that was know. That's a good answer. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I used to be an Oilers fan, but ever since McDavid came, it's like, uh, I don't know. Not really. It's not my thing. I don't know. So, I don't know. You just want to wrap it up there, you know? Yeah, sure. At least for an episode. Uh, thanks, yeah. for, thanks for being here, definitely. Thank you for having me. This is going to be a lot of editing. Uh, if you guys are still here, obviously not. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, make sure you guys go subscribe to my brother. Honestly, it's been an honor. Jeez. Hey, and all you people that watch this video, make sure you hit that like and uh, that subscribe button to ProVal29. Yeah. That was not advertised. I did not tell him to say that. <laughs> yeah. He, he has awesome contact, content. I know bunch of you guys don't like these videos and stuff, but make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button. Make this guy famous. If you don't like my videos, suck my dick, whatever. Yep, okay. Yeah. Perfect. I don't care, just swear all you want. It's not like I can monetize. Who cares? Well, I can until like February the 20th. So, yeah. Huh, oh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, if you guys want to be in another podcast especially with my brother, because he's going to be here next time for sure. Uh, let me know. We'll just gladly have you on for sure. So thanks for watching, you guys. Peace.